Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a mod review of a Volvo FH460 Globe Trotter. So it's a uh, two Globe Trotter chassis, it says, and it's a, a, a cab, sorry, and then a seven chassis. Wheels are included, uh, windows animate, animation, additional spoilers, flashing beacons, road train sign, light bar for roof with four options light bar two options and then additional headlights on the visor a visor painted or plastic front mirrors uh, ability to remove or put a nameplate on the hood sign on the hood six options grill on on the cabin plastic or uh, uh, painted f16 moldings country stickers 15 options bumper lights three options lower grill four options numbers and mud flaps protection of bumper bumpers four options headlight protection two options for optics additional flashing lights and so on and so on so we'll go on in it guys and, and uh, go and see what customization there is so first of all there's two cabins there's a Globe Trotter XL and a Globe Trotter XL. So one is the back back spoiler pieces on and the other one isn't. Chassis, as you would say, as you would uh, expect, there's quite a few. So there's the four by two, and that's higher. That's a bit lower. The four by two, uh, six by two tag lift, uh, mid lift, six by two mid lift. The uh, chassis BDF tag lift. So you've got the uh, BDF there, and you've got the chassis lowered. And that's the four by two. Engine wise, we've only got one guys, and that's 440 horsepower, and that's D16 G540 Euro five. Transmissions, we've got two. We've got the I shift 12 speed. And then the i shift 12 speed with retarder interiors we've got custom which is got a brown rim all the way around exclusive which is your normal exclusive one and then standard which is your standard which does look nice i do like the the exclusive because it gives you t uh, two more your taco and your radio and then you've got your taco up here as well so guys paint jobs now there is quite a few there's uh, quite a few been made and multi-skin colored all were black and white FH multicolored the wings the uh, Volvo Ocean Race it's a Volvo uh, FH multicolored sc uh, skin and that's the um, Volvo Ocean Race blue and then so on and so forth and then you've got a test one there so you can put your own stuff on metallic colors and things like that so basically, yeah, accessories wise, guys, there is quite a few. Um, there's all different ones from painted skirt, uh, side wheel arches to silver grills to spoilers to air horns, interior lights and air conditioning and all that good stuff i won't bore you into details but there is quite a few and there's all loads of options even down to the wheels and the rims and god knows what else so there's loads and loads and loads guys it has been made quite well very well indeed loads of options inside again there's a few options 
So, yep, we've got all different stuff. So, yeah, you've got loads and loads and loads, as you would expect. And the price tags, only 7,000. Almost 8,000. That's not bad. So we'll leave that, guys, and we'll go and have a look at the one I made. And we'll test it out and see what it's like. So we're currently in Birmingham. In the garage in Birmingham. So we'll go and take a look. Best impressions on the outside. Yeah, it is really nice, guys. A lot of details. A lot of details. So we'll get a bit of start up and see what you think. Not bad. Not bad sounding. Right, we'll put the lights on. So we're on 80, 86 FPS. Put the one light on is 75, so it comes down a little bit. That's only side lights. Main lights, you go down to 72. Full beam, 71. That's not bad, 71 FPS. Depends where you're looking. So we've got on the inside. So the inside, guys, this is the inside. Not a bad, not a bad little uh, Volvo. Getting about 60 FPS in here. Turn the lights off. You get 68. So not 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 too bad. So the yawn guys. That's your air on. Your normal on. Go on the outside. Same. Right. We'll take it round the uh, round the block for a test drive. Engine brakes works well. So it's around 56, 57 FPS. The tarder works well. Not a bad sounding. Sorry. Then did go down. Left one does. I'll have a look at the right one soon. Take a look at the right one. Yeah, that works as well, guys. Not too bad. Good kickback. Drops a gear and then goes. Not bad at all. Yeah, guys, not a bad lorry. If you do with a bit uh, more uh, FPS taking off. But other than that, guys, I think it's uh, it's quite a good one. So if you have liked what you see, please do give it a like. And if you haven't already, guys, please do subscribe. It means a lot and it keeps me going. And until the next time, guys, bye for now.